What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, like promised, I will be showing you guys how to shade. I'm gonna try to break it down for you guys and make it more simple so maybe you can understand it a little better. What I'm gonna try not to do is is zoom too close in i want to keep this thing as far out as possible so you'll be able to really see all the steps and i made sure in this tutorial i put the pictures side by side so you can see everything i'm saying you know what i'm saying so what we gonna do with the picture we're gonna start out with the base tone and i'm gonna use every color from my color palette if you want to get the same color palette i'm using in this video the link will be in the description below so go ahead and click that link and purchase that if you want it but let's go ahead and jump right into it first thing i'm gonna do let me go to my pencil tool because all we gotta do is worry about shading so i ain't gonna try to make it look neat we just gonna get straight to the point bro so I'm gonna just set the base tone. Let's go ahead and give them a nice little base tone. Nice little base tone. Okay. What I like to do is start with my dark shadows. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna stroll down here to my dark shadow. Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start with a dark shadow, but we ain't gonna go too dark. I'm gonna just go right here in the center. And create every time I go from go to a different color, a different tone, I put it on its own layer. So just say if on that tone I wanna change that color and make it a little brighter or a little darker, it won't be attached to the other colors where I'd be able to, you know what I'm saying, change it up a little bit without messing everything else up. So that's why it's good to make sure you separate things. So all I do is when I'm shading, man, I just look at the picture and I place the shadows exactly where I see them on the picture. So I notice you got like a shadow right here. So we're gonna place a shadow. Wait, hold up. Gotta make sure my color is at the top and the bottom one is locked. Hold on, okay. And then I notice on this face, on this side of the face, it's nothing but a dark shadow. So basically, pretty much you really just you just it's like it's like really drawing you just copy what you see you know what i'm saying don't overthink it okay you got a shot on this side so all we gotta do is place our dark values on that side of the face and you got a shadow under this part of the nose and in this little crease right here like that so you get what I'm doing I'm pretty much I'm just seeing I'm looking at the picture and everywhere I see the the different shadows and different tones that's what I'm that's what I'm drawing so you got a shadow right here let's see you got a shadow a dark shadow in This ear. It's like that boom. I'm just trying to. It's really easy, guys. You just gotta. You just gotta focus and not overthink it. That's all it is. It's like putting together a puzzle. You just gotta build the different tones. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We got some of the shadows right there. Now I'm finna go 
create me another layer because I want to go a little lighter. So just click my next color. Let's go on a little lighter. And I notice he got. So now what I'm doing is I need to go lighter than that. So we're going to click this color right here. No, no, I'm going to go back to that. That's pretty cool. Now what I'm doing is since I already handled the dark tones right here, which now I'm going to go back to that layer because I want to make that darker so we can make it stand out. So I'm going to select all the dark tones on that layer and we're going to make that color darker. Cool. So I'm gonna create me a new layer right underneath that dark tone. And we're gonna go a little lighter. And what I'm gonna do is, since this is the dark tone and it's getting lighter, it's just transitioning. I'm gonna focus on the next color, the next shadow that's right next to the darkest shadow. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make my eyes just focus on finding that next value from the darkest tone and that's all you do you just draw what you see and you place the shadows exactly where you see them on the photo only place the shadows exactly where you see them You know what, let me go ahead and bring this eye color so it'll sit on top of that. Let's see, got a little shadow right here. But you see how it's coming around. I'm slowly building these values and all I'm doing is copying the picture. I'm just following the different tones I, I see in the picture. I'm not trying to do anything different from what I see. That's when that's when it start not looking as good. Once you start like not really following the picture and you trying to just do your own thing without just really looking at the picture you drawing and just placing the shadows exactly where you see them. That's all you got to do. Just focus on all the tones and exactly where you see the tones. Go ahead and see this. You got a little dark shadow that connect like this. This come up a little more like that. Now I'm gonna create me a new layer right underneath that one, and we finna go a little lighter. So I'm gonna click the next tone right next to it and we're gonna focus on them lighter tones that's all you got to do just train your eyes to see the different tones I'm just trying to focus on exactly where i see them okay come up right here as you notice it come back right here just like that and let's come on this side. See, come on like this. Then this shadow inside his nose. It come on up. Just like that. Crease right here. It's a nice little shadow. Okay. Let's 
Yeah, that's all you do, man. Pretty much. But you, when you do it, I know you'll make it more neater, but I'm just trying to give you a basic idea of how to do shadows. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to figure out how can I make it very simple for y'all to just kind of get it. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I do, man. I just go through the whole picture. I focus on the subject I'm looking at. And every time the tone, tone switch, that's when I change my color. I go a little lighter if I have to, or I go a little darker, and I just copy exactly what I see. I place all the tones exactly where I see them on my photo. Just follow my picture. I use my, I use my original photo as a guide. You know what I'm saying? It just, it show me what I, what I need to be doing. So I'm gonna create me another layer because I see the tones get a little lighter. I'm gonna select the next color. And I'm gonna add these little light tones. I see it come right here. And it come up to his eyes. I'm just drawing exactly where I see the tones. And it come over like this. Okay. Then I notice this forehead shadow. It come over this way. Then it got a little light source right there. Yep. Got this shadow on his ear. And now. That's why I didn't make my tones super dark. Cause I'm finna go back and select this dark tone and put it at the top. And I see it's real dark in this pocket of this eye. And it's real dark under this nose. And it's real dark under his uh, lip. So I'm just, that's all I do. I keep going through the picture. And I just, I place all the tones exactly where I see them. That's how simple it is, man. You just gotta you gotta look at it as being very simple. Because if you start overthinking it, it'll, it'll be extremely hard. Look, I'm just copying the tones. It's dark on the picture right there, so I'm gonna put it dark on my picture right there. See, so got a dark shadow in his nose. And his little nostrils. Then that dark shadow come over. Just like that. And the dark shadow in this crease. And he got a real dark shadow. And I'm telling y'all, this color palette I created, it's top notch, man. That you, you can see it for yourself. We doing pretty good with it, man. Now, what I like to do, I'm gonna do last but not least, let's go ahead and put some um the highlights on his face. You see this this little white spot right here, what a what a light is hitting. Just copy everything you see. You can make it as detailed as you want all you got to do is just stay following your original picture that's it don't try to don't try to do nothing different that's when shading become hard when you're trying to do your own thing when you should just really just be following the picture you're looking at as you can see through this whole picture i slowly followed this picture i placed all the tones exactly where i see them on the original picture you know what I'm saying? I didn't try to do anything different from what I'm looking at. You know what I'm saying? And pretty much, man, there you have it. That's how you shade. You know what I'm saying? Try to make it simple for y'all so y'all can kind of catch up. I will drop some more videos throughout this week on shading. So you're going to see a, how -to, a lot of how-to shade videos, man. I will be going live tonight. 
You know what I'm saying? And I will make it where you guys can follow along tonight. So make sure you catch me tonight. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. And I'm out this thing.